Got a full parking lot this morning. A lot of people able to get out here today. They're kind of being a little less strict. Basically just our employee shirts and a W-2 proving that we work out here is all they're requiring. The big mines are hard at work planning out our dock construction project. Lumber just got delivered. We've got our skid steer hard at work. Don's dock crew picked up a bunch of McDonald's. And uh, Captain Joe's hard at work on the skid steer making huge sand castles out here. We're carrying stuff over from our storage area and now making piles over here of all the lumber that we're gonna help use to rebuild the dock. Got lots of fresh hot breakfast and we're making quite a bit of headway. Got almost our entire area cleaned up. Got the office drying up. Got the fans kicking, still working at drying things out, cleaning things up in here. And today is gonna be the start of the full dock reconstruction. We've got a nice, well-built catwalk to start. We've got our gangway back on today. Look at that. It looks good again out here. The city has dug out their drainage. Always funny to see them hard at work on that. Look at Captain Will traversing. You're brave, buddy. Are you gonna I go like for the it? Here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see it. I want to see. It. We want to. We all want to watch you try. Down this, down this could be interesting. Oh yeah, one-handed baby. Don't walk in the middle. Oh yeah, look at that gangway down there. Might have to zoom in for that one. <laughs> that is not recommended for anybody over 250 pounds. That is a Captain Will gangway only. Is he gonna do it with no hands? Oh, look at that. Woo! Skills, skills. Definitely excited as the day progresses, getting more and more progress and getting things done. Looks beautiful out here. Ready to go fishing. Also big news, holy moly, almost went in the water. Whoa. Also big news, we found our shrimp tank. It was floating through the pass. We captured it. We found our Don's Dock pinfish tank on Sunset Beach which is crazy. You know what's really crazy? The kind of sick part of all this is all these freaking business people going door to door. We have, this is like the 20th person that showed up in nice outfits, nice clothes, trying to sell us on having their crew come out and be an adjuster or having their crew come out and do labor or having their crew come out and bring us cranes. We literally are struggling to get work done because these people are just showing up and trying to prey on the situation and make money. So I've talked a lot about the community coming together and everybody volunteering and helping to bring each other up. Well, not everybody's doing that. There's some real characters in the mix here. HM East cleaning operation is going pretty well too. Just letting things air out, dry out. Starting to look a little drier in here finally. Getting that cross breeze going. Getting things all smoothed out. It's been a long start to the day. Officially full day three, but we've been cleaning since Friday. So really day three and a half, four for us. But things are starting to look better and better every day. Small bites at a time. John's Pass is really coming together. Almost all the shops have people working, cleaning, stacking stuff up. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Don's dock cleanup is going smooth, rinsing everything off, getting everything bleached down, and ready to rock and roll in our seafood market once again. Things are starting to look and smell clean in here. It is a beautiful thing. So, ready to get everything back in here, and get rocking and rolling, hopefully 
in the near future. But definitely, docks look great down here. Just got to do some rebuilding and maintenance. We'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, we've had two big dump trailers come through and we filled up. But it looks like the pile just keeps getting bigger. Two full dump trailers and our pile has gotten bigger still. But good news is street is almost completely clean of dirt. Captain Joe's been hard at work making some big sand castles around. Also the other side is almost clean of sand as well. Really, really great progress so far. So we can actually drive trucks through here now. Also, the dock is coming along pretty darn well. We got all the lumber delivered. Lunch. We got all the lumber delivered and now we're starting on major reconstruction. We've got our lunch coming now and uh, our crack team of fishing boat captains, tree trimmers, crew, and galley cooks are all hard at work doing some serious construction. The game has changed. The real, the real help is here. Captain Joe is doing a great job with his skid steer, but holy cow, this is making a world of difference. These guys are taking huge scoops full of sand and they're running it over to this monster dump truck. And we're getting this sand out of here in record breaking time. It is amazing. Well, we are getting our job done down here. Definitely a lot of progress has been made on the dock. As you can see behind me, we've got a catwalk built. Now we're rebuilding the second half of the dock. And uh, it's hard work, but we're taking small bites at a time and we're making some pretty leaps and bounds forward uh, after we uh, take those small steps. The lot is almost cleared now of sand. Now we're just working on the small details, clearing out those smaller areas. As those big skid steers come in, we've got dump trucks coming tomorrow, back trucks to clear the drainage. It's definitely nine day difference from Friday when we came out here directly behind the storm to where it is now. Just a few days have made a world of difference. John's Pass is really shaping up quickly and I have confidence that we'll be uh, back in action soon and better than ever. So stay tuned for the progress. We've been trying to do daily updates. We'll keep you up to date on all our social media platforms. We're also going to be launching a fundraiser here soon for staff who've been affected. All proceeds go into the those staff who've been affected, flooded, lost their homes, lost their apartments, lost their vehicles. We're also going to be doing a lot of donation drives and giving out information, trying to be that collection point of all the different areas around the communities where you can show up and bring supplies. Or if you lost your home, you need supplies, areas you can go find it and get those donations that you need. So stay tuned. We'll be uh, sharing more information and news on that as it comes. And hopefully you enjoy the videos, the progress, and hopefully we'll see you on the water. Because don't forget, too busy to go fishing, just too darn busy.